Well, today on Nation Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about route storefronts, getting the customers, what do they want, how to get more of them, how to keep them, how to just be better at route. So if you're a window cleaner thinking about getting into route, if you're in route, if you just want to hang out, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Literally seven years of doing this podcast, so go back. There's like tons and tons of comment content. Go back, binge, uh, listen while you're out on the job, you know, do all that stuff. But today we're talking about route. We got lots of different topics we talk about all the time. I want to revisit route because I haven't in a while, and I really, really like route. And route window cleaning, some of you call it storefront window cleaning, Um, some of you call it commercial. It's not. Commercial is different. That's like office buildings. But route is really something that is cleaned weekly or bi-weekly, every week or every two weeks. Yeah, you could do monthly, but like, don't let people do monthly. That sounds harsh, but help them decide that every two weeks is better. I hate monthly route. It's just too long. And by the way, there is no month. There's weekly, every two weeks, or every four weeks. Do not do once a month because that will screw your schedule up. Scheduling by weeks, you always know. Week one, it's this. Week two is this. Week three is this. Week four is this. And if it's every four weeks, it falls in line with everything else. So that's a little tidbit of information. But storefront... Route window cleaning is awesome. I really like it. I know there's a lot of cleaners out there that stay away from it. They maybe do only residential. That's cool. Uh, And there's some window cleaners out there that only do route. And that's cool. I think there's a place for all of it. Scheduling wise, money wise, time of year makes a lot of sense. But I'm focused on route today because we haven't talked about it in a while. And I really want to encourage you to either get more route or to get into route. So, yeah, that's why we're talking about it. Hopefully, we're uh, you're out in the field just cleaning some stuff anyway. So, if you are, check in, by the way. Say what's up. Leave a review for the podcast. Say hello. Uh, we'll get to the shameless plug stuff later. But, why route? Okay? I love route for a few reasons. The first one is going to be scheduling, right? So, route, as you know, is frequency. Like, if you do houses, even if you're doing the dentist clothes, which... If you're not, what are you doing? What are you even doing, bro? Um, But uh, if you don't know what the dentist clothes is, look it up. It is a concept that's amazing. Anyway, route is frequency. Think about every week or every two weeks is almost as predictable as you can possibly get, which is fantastic in a seasonal business. I mean, route is there if there is rain If there's snow, if there's sun, if there's winter, if there's anything and everything, route is just done. It's just done. I will never go to a route and ask him for, hey, did you want me to clean the windows today? It's supposed to rain. Or even if it's starting to sprinkle. They're getting done every week, every two weeks, every four weeks, regardless. So I just do it. It's always done. A lot of route ends up being under awnings, which is fantastic. A lot of routes outside only, which is fantastic. The frequency is amazing. And there's a place for that. All year, you have it. If you have a guy who's set up, or a girl, but if you have a tech that's set up who has a week's worth of weekly route, week, that's it. You just fill one week, weekly route. That's an entire year for potentially ever that that one truck in person is just full. Think about that. Okay, routes, I mean, it's not as easy as a you know snap of the fingers to get, but what if you had two weeks full of weekly route? That's two full trucks. Two techs that just do that all the time, making, you know, 75 to $100 an hour, just like everything else, just regularly. Which brings me to the reason kind of people don't like route, and it's because the prices are a little bit different. Now, in route, I'll tell you, if you're looking at pricing, I do a bunch of this stuff, but we're at $2 a pane per side for route. 
that's weekly or bi-weekly, right? That doesn't sound like a lot when you're doing houses at five, you know, or I should say 10 for ins and outs, seven for just outs. Two, how am I making money? Well, it's frequency. You're cleaning pretty clean windows, keeping them clean, but the tighter the route, the more money you make. Like when you get in a route, you're going to lose money. That's absolutely a, a positive affirmation type thing. Because people are like, oh man, like I got this job. I could drive all the way across town for 20 bucks. Well, yeah, you have that now, but you have to sell the route. Route is when it, the tighter it's packed. Like if I got, if I could park my truck and do two hours worth of cleaning and then get back in the truck to drive to the next spot, I'm going to make more money than if I do one, drive across town, make do one, drive across town, right? Route works by doing a tight route. And that's the benefit of it too, is that the more you sell, the more everything you make. There's nothing else that you make more money on, like a job by selling a different job. Like if I'm doing a house and I sell another house, I don't make more money on that house, but in route you do. Because if I drive one place, do it for 20 bucks, get in my car and drive to farther away or whatever, go back to houses. I'm making very little per hour because there's drive time, set up, blah, blah, blah. But now if I do 10 places, now all of a sudden I'm doing, you know, $150 an hour and there's drive time set up. It makes a lot more sense. But what do route people want? Like it's not a house, so they're not going to feel good that it's done. They're, that it's a maintenance thing. It's a thing that they have to do that they don't want to deal with. That is its selling point. You're there regardless. You were also on call. They have an inspection. They get egged. They get something, anything. Hey, we got this big, you know, a sale coming up. We got to do the windows, you know, like all of those things are what they want. That's what Route wants. They just want it off their plate. Just do it, make it happen, make it look great. That's what we want. If you're doing restaurants for Route, they actually will get points taken off when they do their inspections the health and safety and blah, blah, blah inspections. And they'll get points taken off because the windows are dirty. And you're like, well, I go in and there's always somebody there. Of course, well, there are, they're cleaning their windows. Very seldom do you find a route place that's been in business for a while and they're like, oh, we've never cleaned the windows. It's not a thing. They try to do it themselves or they hire somebody else. So yes, there's always other people, but how do you kind of you know, go against that value? Sure, price is there, right? You want to be competitive, and if you're way off, they can't really change the budget because, again, they don't care. But they also care to have somebody they can rely on to make sure everything gets done and gets done great. They don't have ticks and marks, anything. And that's what they value. That's what they want in route is for you to be just absolutely, you know, like the post office. Like, that's an old expression, but you're just always there you always get it done right that's what they want that's what you're selling on but the problem with route is that every bucket bob sorry if your name is bob by the way but every bucket bob those fly by nighter guys that do it for a beer money you may be that by the way which is cool like you will eventually not be if you want to but everybody stops in hey you want your windows cleaned and they're like no Okay, and you'll never see a person again. They're just there trying to do it for five, 10 bucks, trying to get a couple bucks. They're not gonna be reliable. They're not even in real business. They, they show up. I had a guy who was doing route in my area who would take the bus. Like, hey, high five for your hustle. He'd show up to a job that we cleaned, which by the way, we ended up taking a bunch, not taking, but he ended up getting out and we acquired a bunch of his stuff. We did one of the jobs we did in, uh, it was, uh, a tech did that job in um, like 36 minutes, 30 something minutes, 35 minutes, we'll say. That was one of our guys in our route. It took him almost two and a half hours. Like he would just show up, he kind of like talking around, then he'd eat some food. It was like this whole thing. It was like, because he didn't care. He's like, ah, oh, make some money, you know, whatever. They fed him. When we actually went there, it was funny. They said, uh, when we were doing prices and stuff, they said, does that, does that price include you getting a free meal too? And we're like, I mean, 
no, but if you want to feed us, like, oh no, well, the last guy said that the price was only that cheap because, you know, he had to get a free meal every time, which great. Again, dude, I, I love your hustle, but I am in it for money. I'm in it to make a profit. I'm in it to run a business. I think you are too, but that's what they want. The problem with route is that there's so many people that do that, that they instantly say no, but you can't send a mailer. You have to stop it. Because if I send a postcard to a little storefront, they're not reading it. They're just throwing it away because they get a bunch of other postcards. They get a bunch of other mailers. They get a bunch of whatever. They just don't care. They're already going to tell you no most of the time by stopping in. Which brings us to another side of why people sometimes don't like route. Is they're like, yeah, they're, like the other guys are so low. I don't get anything. Well, no. You do not get anything. When, so we... I've always sold route, just always been in part of my repertoire because I like route. But whenever we had a sales guy um, running, he one of his parts was route. He would do a bunch of other stuff, you know, and other sales because there's three. There's residential route and commercial. Got to do all of them in my opinion. But route was part of it. And he had to stop in. So we got great numbers because we tracked everything. And I always say the stats of like, you know, one out of ten jobs that we actually land came from that first visit. It's way less than that. I don't remember the stats. This was years ago when we had this. It's way less than that. But you got to think, if I stop into 100 route places, 100 storefronts, I may only get, depending on how long we're talking about, I only may only get 10 of them, 15 of them maybe. And this is over like a span of time follow-up, which I'm going to get to. But out of that, I stop into 100 places and I get 10 of them over time. That means that one of those I got by stopping in. So one out of 100 places I stop into will say yes on the spot. That is incredibly low. But that no is their defense mechanism. So we already know they're going to say, probably no. They're probably going to say, I got somebody. They're probably going to say, oh, I'll talk to my manager. We'll I already know that. But here's how you break that. As I've stopped in, and I'm going to give you in a second like the, the process of what I do. But as soon as they're like, no, you know, oh, well, absolutely, no worries. Hey, we'll follow back up with you uh, in a day or two, see if uh, you had a chance to look at it, have any questions, you know, and go, oh, yeah, absolutely. Because they know in their heads, you're not going to call them. But you are. And here's where the breaks the process because I have a great close rate on those routes. We're getting a lot of them when we stop in. And now again, this is uh, working over time. But it's follow-up. That's the big piece. Follow-up in the, the, the route space is more than anything else. Because in residential, I can close 9.5 out of 10, right? I can close most of them, almost all of them over the phone because my process is so dialed in, so convenient, so fast. Perfect. But in route, they just don't care. They just don't care as much. They are somebody who needs or wants your service, but it's just there. I got a bunch of other stuff to worry about, man. I didn't sell enough t-shirts this month. That's what I got to worry about. I don't have to worry about paying somebody to clean my windows, right? So it's follow-up. Every job that we stop into, we take a two-part sheet, fill it all out, and then we put it in what's called a tickle folder. Yes, funny name, I know. But a tickle folder basically is dates. It's all dates laid out. So that means when I come in and it's the 7th, I open the 7th and I call the people who I put in there. And the tickle folder is just reminders of all these and get stacks of follow-ups to do which is where this building thing is. And you keep calling and being on top of things. You're not annoying them at all because they had a thousand things to think about since yesterday. But I'm going to call them as soon as I stop in. If it's a Monday, I call them on Tuesday. Hey, it's Jersey from XYZ. We were just in there yesterday, dropped off a bit. I just wanted to check in with you guys, see if you had a chance to look at that, pass to the powers of B. Any questions on it? Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, um, hold on. Let me, let me see if I... That follow-up, instantly changes you from that bucket Bob is looking for beer money into a real business. Now all of a sudden they take you seriously. This is why the close comes from the follow-up. 
Most people do not follow up. They just go in and go, man, this sucks. I'm not getting anything. And then they don't ever call again. That's just like every other route person. That's why you didn't get it. Because me saying no to you stops the awkward conversation. Hey, I got other things. No, I'm good. Thanks, though. They want to end the conversation. Cool. No, definitely. Hey, no problem. Have a great one. I'm going to call tomorrow. And then after I call the first day and they're like, oh, actually, uh, yeah, let, let us take a look at it. We haven't looked at it yet. And uh, we'll let you know. Perfect. Cool. No worries. I'll follow up in a bit, you know. Follow up in a, a week or so and, oh, yeah, yeah. Because they think again, wow, okay, this is a real company, but, you know, maybe we didn't look at it. Maybe I didn't pass it along to somebody. Oops, I think I threw it away. You put it in the tickle folder for seven days later. Call them. Seven days later, if they give you another excuse, it's a month. Boom. 30 days of call. 30 days of call. 30 days of call. 30 days of call. And because you stop in, if you're selling route, you're going to be doing areas multiple times. You're going to be in there cleaning. If I'm cleaning the first store and I don't have any of the other stores, I'm going to sell all of them. I'm going to call them the next day. I'm going to call them in seven days. And then I'm going to be back there cleaning this one in two weeks. Guess what? I'm going to stop in again. Route is all about follow-up. This is where you are split from those other people. The amazing route companies, the Jim Dubois of the world, they are pit bulls. Bulldogs, whatever the phrase is. <laughs> like they're always there following up. They're always there. They're always relevant. They're always there. They're not just sitting back waiting for them to call them. Yes, you'll get calls like that. Yes, you'll do whatever. Sure, they'll see you. Sure, they'll. But follow up is key because I will tell you right now, especially in route, the other guy will mess up. The other guy will not show up. The other guy will go, oh, it's kind of cold today. That's why winter is the best time you could ever sell route. Because the other guy's not showing up. It's too cold. He didn't show up. The windows always look like crap in winter. Stuff splashes and salt and bleh. Follow up is absolutely key. Now I'm going to take a second real quick. Do a shameless plug if you watch or listen, you know this. But hold on. Before you skip ahead, I'm a rep from windowcleaner.com. Please let me put your orders in. It costs you nothing extra. And I get uh, credit for it. And I would love to get credit for it and, you know, buy things like groceries. <laughs> no, but it really doesn't cost you anything extra. I want to be a rep. That's part of the reason why I do everything that I do and I try to be an asset to everybody is that. Let me put your orders in. My number is 862-312-2026. Every order. Like, Please text me. You'll never lose or miss a sale if you text me during the sale. Even if you text me at like 11 at night and the sale ends. Cool. I'm not going to text you back at 11 probably. We're on a Saturday or a Sunday. So chill out with those. You're never going to miss a sale. You're never ever going to. It locks it in. Let me do that for you. I'd love to. I'd love to be a resource. I'd love to help with all that stuff. 862-312-2026. One other thing. Also, American Window Cleaner Magazine. So stinking proud of this. It's been around since 1986. It used to be like a newsletter changed into kind of a magazine. Now it's a monthly, full color, real magazine that is all to do with window cleaning. The entire magazine is window cleaning. Now, if you've been to any shows, like the huge convention, there's like a whole bunch of other stuff. This is window cleaning. This is literally all window cleaning. It's all window cleaning. I mean, down to the articles, down to the, you know, the 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 ads, the everything. Right? It all comes back to window cleaning. So awcmag.com, go and get the magazine. One other thing, if you want to do me the biggest favor. Like so many of you are amazing, by the way. You guys literally go out of your way. But I have my own YouTube channel. I have my own YouTube channel. If you just search Jersey Nation, you'll pull up. That's my YouTube channel. It has a measly 750 followers or subs. Please subscribe to that. I'm going to be putting a lot of content into that. And I just want some subs. And it's free for you to do that. It's just like a little thank you. So... Just do that. If you got like a second, go to YouTube, search it out. Um, Jersey Nation, lots of cool videos coming out and uh, really means a lot to me that you guys do that. So thank you. Shameless plug done. It's so funny that the shameless plug works. 
I eventually people will be like, yeah, I've been listening for a long time. I finally got to put my order from you. It's, I mean, I always, you know, I think it's hilarious, but um, you know, you're going to buy from windowcleaner.com. Buy from me, right? I'll hook you up, get you a free gift and a cool kid sticker. Mention that, get you that. And uh, I get like a little piece of it. And that's what I do for a living. Like literally how I make money. So thank you for that. Anyway, okay, back to it. Pricing a storefront's different than everything. We talk about the $2, but I want to talk about the process of doing that. And I know a lot of you are going to message me and go, hey, do you have a copy of this? I don't because it was, I mean, I'm going to make another one just to be able to give people a guess, but it was given with when I sold my company that was part of the everything that they got. But all I did was I took a half sheet of paper and we did NCR forms, which are like carbonless copy forms, if you know what those are. So when I write, it has two. There's a yellow and a white. When I write something, I can rip it apart and I got two copies. One for me, one for them. That's how I do my follow-up and that's what I leave for them. But they're half sheets and all they are is like the company name and address, date, rep, if you have more than one uh, salesperson just so you can track who did it. And then I just have out win outside window cleaning, inside and outside window cleaning, pressure washing, and then notes or other. Like we're really there to sell window cleaning. But if you do other services, it's nice to have anyway. Usually it's leave it blank. And then at the bottom, all I have is um, customer signature and um, window cleaning company signature, your company signature, and dates. Literally that simple. I leave flyers. I leave any information that's going to impress people about my company. I give them with this carbonless copy sheet. And I do that so they have a copy of the price. But here's the big thing. When people go into a place and they don't save that, they don't re remember how much it is. So you don't know the information when they call later. You have to go and do a bid again or whatever. It's absolutely ridiculous if you do that and you have nothing to call. Now, if I have a half sheet, which we keep the yellow, they get the white. When I keep that and I do my follow-up, I put all the notes. Every follow-up, I write down the date that I called on the back of the sheet. So I got sheets with like stuff, right? Every call, who I talked to, what they said, just quick blurb it down. I want to track everything because the next time I call that, if it's in 30 days, I've called them a bunch. I can look at the back and go, uh, talk to Stacy last night. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah. Hey, Stacy. Uh, yeah, we actually talked uh, last month. Looks like on the sixth. Um, just wanted to follow up with the window cleaning. See if anything's changed. Like, I want to have that, and that simple process is absolutely amazing. When I walk into the door, I already got that on my little clipboard. And as I walk in, I write the name down and the date real quick, and then I count the windows up as I'm walking in. Storefronts. They're very easy. If it's a a bigger building, just walk around. Get the storefront. Get the count. In the notes, I just write down how many windows, and then I write the price. So when I walk in, hey, my name's Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. Uh, we do, you know, uh, Bob's Burgers over there, and we do the McDonald's uh, next to that, and we do a bunch of places in the area. I thought I'd just uh, give you a quote, too. Hopefully, we can do some service for you, and uh, just want to drop this uh, info off for you. Oh, well, yeah, sure. Well, I already have the piece. I'm giving them, I put that on top with my business card, my brochure, if you're doing anything specific to route, which is fantastic, like a flyer, full color gloss, awesome, give it to them. And they instantly, as soon as you hand it to them, they go, oh yeah, oh. And as they're looking at it, I go, oh, you do you have uh, somebody cleaning them now? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, the guy is, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know who it is. Or they go, yeah, it's uh, John's window cleaning. Oh, awesome. Yeah, man, he is, uh, he's been in the area for a super long time. Great guy. Met him a bunch. Uh, we're we're good, good friends. Um, is everything kind of up to par what they're doing? You pretty happy with him? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's done it forever. Oh, great. Well, cool. I love loyalty. Uh, I never want to step on that. But keep that information because... Um, if anything ever happens, if he decides he's retiring or uh, decides to not show up or you're just not happy for any reason, you have my info. And they always, every time, oh, well, yeah, okay, grab phone, keep it. Awesome. And give it to the powers of be. And I always, when I walk in, by the way, I always start my conversation like, hey, is the owner or manager around? And they're like, oh, no, they're not in or yes, that's me or whatever. So I already know who I'm talking to. I already get the business card for more information, all that stuff. That's as simple as I am. 
round sales are really just lead generation. That's what I'm doing is I'm going in there so that I have leads to call later. That's as simple as route is. And I leave. And no worries. I'll follow you up in you know, a few days and see where you're at. If you've got any questions, my number's on there. That's a cell phone goes right to me. You got any other questions? Perfect. A lot of times they're looking. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. What? What? Uh, like they'll ask questions or they'll think or they'll what? Have, like you can tell a conversation. You do not have a conversation finished in your head before the conversation. Because the conversation is when I talk, you listen. When they talk, more importantly, you listen. And you respond to them. You don't have a spiel. You don't have a whatever. You can have a response when they ask a certain question that everybody asks all the time. Or if they're even like, huh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I could tell they're thinking. What are they thinking? Well, yeah, absolutely. And just to let you know some information, it's all in the flyer too, but we're fully insured, obviously. Um, this is a company. This is what we do. All of our techs full time. This is not just a side business for us. So, of course, we carry a $2 million insurance policy, 100% satisfaction guarantee, and we have um, emergency service all the time. If you ever get egged or graffitied or you get an inspection or you got anything that comes up, you don't have to wait for your rotation. You can literally call us up and we can be there that day. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Are you guys do um like I I know they're thinking. What are they gonna say? I can I can feel it. I can do it. I can talk it. I can whatever. If they're on the fence, I can feel that. How do I play that? Well, I can tell you know you're maybe on the fence. Can I do a free window cleaning for you uh, today? We're actually gonna be in the area uh, later today or tomorrow. Can I just do the first one for free? See if you like it, see how you do, see how you like our techs. At least anything out of that, you get a free window cleaning, right? Who says no to that? Who says no to that? No one. If they're to that point, I can get them there by letting them know how awesome I am. You can get them there by letting them know how awesome you are. A lot of the times, if you've done route, you know this, but when you go in, they go, oh yeah, we got somebody, thanks though. Oh, hey, no, absolutely. I still want to get some information. If they're shutting the conversation down, I'm not going to push them. It's just not worth it. I don't want to be weird and uncomfortable. That's why I hate door knocking. If I do that, and they're trying to, well, no, I got somebody we've had them in a long time. I'm really good. Well, okay, yeah, cool. Appreciate that. I love, um, you know, the loyalty. So keep that information. If anything changes, let me know. I'll follow up in a little bit with you and uh, see if you have any other questions on it. If I talk like that, they know the conversation is done every single time, 100% of the time. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Absolutely. If they're the owner, I'm always like, by the way, amazing store, by the way, my, if if it's true. My wife shops here all the time or any guys are doing awesome. I love the layout. This place is fantastic. As I'm leaving, I'm telling them that. I want to be genuine. But I'm still going to follow up the next day. Hey. Julie, it's Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. I was in there yesterday. Um, I just wanted to check in on that uh, bid that I left to see if you guys looked it over, had any questions on our services or anything else. Uh, question? No, like I said, you know, we got uh, Chuck. He's been doing it a real long time. He's a great guy. Well, definitely. Awesome. Well, cool. Like I said, I'm not looking to step on toes. So keep that information. File it away. Um, we'll follow up in you know a month or two and... And uh, if you got questions before that, let me know. Like I said, we are always in the area. So if you see us out there, stop. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, wait. They're stopping the conversation. What am I going to do? I am going to follow up again in a month. I'm going to stop back in there. Hey, Julie Jersey. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Yeah, just stopping in. And how's the cleaning going? Pretty good on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. He's still chugging along. Awesome. Well, cool. Just wanted to say hi. I'm staying relevant. You're like, well, why are you doing that for a $20 account? I'm doing that for a multi, multi million dollar a year potential of every job in every city I do. Because again, the route is not the job, it's the route. I want to build the route because guess what? A $20 job is not 20 bucks. It's $20 a week, 
for every two weeks, for potentially ever. Stay relevant. It's so worth it for the follow-up. The big companies are doing that. The big companies are staying relevant in their face. And if you do that with Route, you will get an amazing Route. The nice thing with Route is remember, it took me a lot of work to get that job. Everybody else that stops in and tries to, to get that job is going to run into the same problem and they're not going to hustle like me. They're not going to follow up like me. They're not going to get the account. I'm secure. I've had accounts that I've had for five years, no questions. You're telling me that in those, um, longer than that, but in say five years, not one person stopped in. I'm guessing one person stops in every couple months at least. They do the same spiel and they go, oh, okay, and they leave. They don't follow up, they don't call, they don't track anything, but I do, guess what, I win. I win. That's how you get route. Route is fantastic and amazing and for all the right reasons, but if you're not doing it right, it's gonna suck. And you're gonna be like, yeah, route's terrible. Yeah, if you do it like that, if you just stop in and go, hey, I'd like to do it, and and one out of 100 people you actually get, I'm not gonna go do another 100 people. But if I start closing, I've had people, by the way, I've had one lady who owned a pet store. I was there because we were there uh, every week, the weird way the rotation worked in that one. We were there every week. So I stopped in, or our sales reps, or even our window cleaners would stop in, just say hi. I mean, it was all the time. Our trucks, we parked right in front of her place. I mean, we were there all the time, always stopped in. Um, I would go in there to actually buy my dog food because whatever, the prices were good. It was a nice store anyway. It was not just to get this one, but just happened to be one of these places. And I got a call two and a half years, probably maybe a little more later. And she goes, hey, it's Julie from, oh, hey, Julie, how are you? Good, 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 good. Well, I want to give you a shot. Oh, man, that is absolutely fantastic. She's like, I can't believe that I mean, every time I think about window cleaning and every time they did a bad job and every time I did anything and every time I looked out there and the windows looked like crap, I didn't think about my window cleaner because I don't even remember a guy's name. I thought about you. It's the craziest thing. Like, well, hey, we love to stay in front of you. Like, that is where route is. No, it's not going to take two and a half years. Some of them may take a few months. Some of them may take anything, but your guy that they have will mess up. There will be an emergency. There will be a time where he just doesn't show up. He doesn't call. I can't even tell you the last time we were here. Yeah, let's just switch. And it's yours. Stay relevant. Follow up. That's the key to, to everything route. By the way, if you are watching this on YouTube or uh, if you're in Facebook, share the video and tell me how many jobs you do. Go to Pro Window Cleaning. Share the link that you're listening to this, like Spotify or whatever, and be like, this episode's about route. I have 127 route jobs. Or just share it and be like, share the episode, if you know, you know, 98. And just put that. Nobody who's not listened to this doesn't know, but I will know that you have 98 jobs. It's a fun little thing. Be exclusive. Also, if you're feeling froggy and want to be absolutely amazing, go find my YouTube. Search it out, Jersey Nation. And subscribe. I'm trying to like really boost my subscribers. I have 750 and Steve has like 40,000. So I'm almost to catching up to Steve. I want to <clears throat> I want to catch up to Steve. So subscribe to that. Plus, I would like to continue doing these videos. And no, I don't have Patreon. But if you want to support me, it literally costs you nothing but a phone call or a text. Text me. Be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart, bro. And I'll put it in for you. I'll make it as simple as possible. Verified information. Uh, put it in. Get your free gift. And I get credit for it. So my number is 862-312-2026. Do it. Call me. Message me. Text me. Tag me in anything you're posting on Facebook. Please tag me. You know, all this stuff to get out there is... It's not your competition. It's everybody else. It's want to be able to help a bunch of people. So do that. And of course, speaking of helping people... AWC Magazine, the American Window Cleaner Magazine. Go get that. It's 69 bucks a year. Do it because you're awesome. AWCMAG.com. Get a subscription. And until next week, 
Go sell some route. Tell me how much route you have. Subscribe to my YouTube. And, more importantly, go out there and be epic.